Shemwe Kristo kuko yutaza kuzoka uyu munsi na zina tuba dufite identite dufite uyu munsi nuko wemeye kwitanga ku musaraba uri yamburu bwiza n'icuwe yiro nububasha nubushobozi nubumana bwa warufite amazi wambara kamera ku mugara guhimbata uraganduka ni wanga no gupfurupfu ku musaraba uje kudushaka Nemamu tu kuzama na maboko ya chuki na gitondo tu kuvuki yoneza. Tu vanga na undi wa gerera ngwana we. Tu vanga na indi soko tu fite itari wowe. Tu vanga na bini bishi mo tu fite itari wowe. Tu vanga tu vanga na bundi muzima tu fite itari wowe. Nemamu ngami tu kume na umash tu vanga ureera 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 ureera. Mama vuta Yesu bone kwaka. Mama vuta na kuingize. Mama vuta Yesu bone kwaka. Mama vuta buri nde bucha turi rimbe turi rimbe turi rimbe oh oza na tugusi gize owe. Yesu tu kusini ze. Yesu tu kusini ze. Turiri be. Yes, 
Bongorera, Bongorera. This is with Tawe. This is with Tawe. Tu Awe, Atira, atira, 
intimizo seni zature kurunga na wimana kurunga na wimana ama vio sagufu kamire
Amahoro, Glory, 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 Manaya, 
tujali Mungu wetu ana tujali Mungu wetu ana tubeba Mungu wetu Mungu wetu Mungu wetu ana tubeba Mungu wetu Mungu wetu Mungu, 
Atabakia Mungu Atabakia Mungu Atabakia Atabakia Mungu Atabakia 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 Mungu Atabakia Atabakia
Amashi menshi kuri Azafu. Amashi menshi cyane. Azafu murakoze cyane. Thank you Azaf. Yes ashimwe. Praise the Lord. Tunejejwe no kuba ikaze mu buturo bw'Imana. We are pleased to welcome you in the house of God. Imana. Imana yacu koko ikwiye gukomerwa amashyi birenze aho ngaho. God is of more than that mighty clap of hand. Hallelujah. Nubwo turi mu nzu yayo rwose tuyakirije ayo mashyi kandi ari ubundi buryo bwo kwirama. Even though we are in his house he deserves more than that. Hallelujah. Tuwa ikaze bene data mwamaze kugera hano. We wish you a warm welcome. Namwe muri ku nkora ku mbuga nkora nyabaga herya no hino tuwa ikaze abari kuri YouTube. And people following us online on YouTube. Facebook. Facebook. O TV, o TV na O Radio and O Radio Mwese turabiyegereje mu izina rya Yesu We wish you a warm welcome in the name of Jesus Tuba kwa mu muri muri uwo mutware umufite kuba mu nzu y'Imana Mu shaka kwicara You may be seated Hanyuma Aba bara abashitsi dufite mu hano no munsi cyangwa abamaze giye kirekire badaterana natwe the guests we have among us of the building. We request you to raise your hands so that we can see you. We wish you a warm welcome, Mother. Is there anyone else? We wish you a warm welcome. Yes, I want to know. We have to go to the hospital. May God be with you even though we call you this by your family members. May God ask for the cup on. Amen. As we rush because we have many programs, we are going to pray in a short time. But I want us to pray as we have one heart. Listen to replay asking God to give us a clean heart. Today we are going to ask God to give us a heart which belongs in Christ. It is in Philippians chapter 5, chapter 2, verse 5. We are going to ask God to enable us to have a heart as Christ. We are going to pray a short prayer because you can get more home. We are going to read from verse 2 until 3, 4. We are going to pray it says, fulfill my joy by being like-minded, having the same love. Like-minded, having the same love. Let nothing be done through selfish and ambition or consist. But lowliness of mind. Let each of you look out only for his own interest. But also for the interest of others. Verse 5. Let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus. Let's pray. Seated or standing as long as you are praying and communion with God. Good God, we've heard your word. We've heard what is he telling us. What we can do so that we can have a heart of Christ. And we are also praying. We've been formed in Christ because we are praying. We are going to be working in your words as we heard it. Day by day having a humble heart. A heart of Christ. 
Jesus Christ who accepted to come on this earth. And also went far and died for us. As he was crucified on the cross. Give us to be humble in our heart. So that every time we take up the cross. May it be humble to the end of the day. And we know we be hypocrites as we be other, like other people. Thank you. And value the action you did on the cross as you bring it for us. Because that's what, that's what got closest to God. That's the visa we got to go in heaven. Enable us to use it well. So that we maintain our salvation. And day and night may we work for you. And working in love and kindness. And we become a sign to people. Because we're saint by God. We pray it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. As we are seeing the spirit of prayers, I felt like we should pray for our youth. And we pray for the bike guys, those who drive those bikes. Good God. We praise you because of the youth you gave us. We praise you because of our youth who got to know you. We ask you that you help their discipline. It, that this print becomes a Bible so that people who don't read it might see their behavior. Let our youth become their lead. We protect them in your blood so that everything which is in this world all the manifestations that goes through the online vision going through different platforms going through media may not detach them but your behavior your behavior become everything that is standing there they stand as your heroes and your fighters because of your plan of going in an authentic world and to enlarging your kingdom because they have a huge work to we, we, we ask you to give them knowledge and protect them. Enable them. Because you, are, because you are the one who enables the body to give us power. We ask it in your name because we believe you hear our players. Amen. Amen. I requested us to pray for the because most of our youth go on bikes. The spirit of accident you see on bikes are from different problems. The motor guys are rushing so that they get away to go where they're going. And even they do mistakes in the road calling it customer care. And then they park in a wrong way. And they rush when they're driving. Because of the pressure of their work. And even sometimes they lose the value because of that. And that. You find that sometimes those bike people are, are some are married and even they are old enough. Let's request for a good heart. So that they will not crash. We protect them with the blood of God so that they accept the Because of them and those that are carrying the youth and even old people, they are in a huge risk. Let's put them in the blood of God. And request that God give them the glory in the society. And 
and asking the members of Zion Temple that every time you meet them, give them the food priority gahita cyangwa ukamwihanganira akabona ko umwihanganiye yaragiye kugoresha makosa umunezero ugaragara mu maso ye because every time you give them to go uh, to have a way they look at you and say thank you muri rwego rwa mutima ari muri Kristo rero tujye twihanganira na makosa yabandi ahubwo tubabere umugisha so with that matter with the heart of being kind let's give them the priority and become the blessing to them Dusing. let's pray Mana turagushima kubwo muji wacu wa Kigali because of our city of Kigali n'indi miji yose yo mu Rwanda and all the cities in Rwanda turagushimira kuri buri buryo washobora wahaye ubwenge abantu kugira ngo bashobore gukorohereza badafite uburyo kugira ngo bashobore kugenda hirya no hino we give we praise you for the knowledge of means of transport you gave to people so that they have the means of work hakaba muri ya muri mwa bamotari we show you the work of motorbike tubagotejeje amaraso yawe mwami yesu we protect them in your blood tubasabye kukumenya bose bakakira gakiza mu izina rya yesu we ask you that you give them the salvation in the name of jesus Ningabo nyinshi mwivuga butumwe abamaze kukumenya papa Because there are strong armies that Ubarinde umwuka wa Aksida Protect them from the spirit of Aksida Give them a Ubashoze mu mirimo yabo Kandi nabo bubahishe And give them honor Kuko nabo bare mu mwishusho yawo Because they were made in your in your Manu bikore ubibakore natwe bidukorera Please do that as you do it to Kuko kenshi baba batwaye bene wacu inshuti zacu baba batwaye abanyarwanda ndetse nabaje kugiye gutura mu Rwanda rwacu Rwandans and our visitors. Man, to give you praise, we will sing your song. Please, God, do us good. Paris, we will sing the song of Jesus. We pray it in the name and the love. Amen. Amen. Murakoze. Thank you. To the Hagaze, Kuwa Hagaburu, Tena Bande, Bashaka, Kubi Kora. As we still standing. To the Zomwa, Nyamu, Zomwa, 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 Zom Kuchumweru ukwezi kwa kabiri 2026 Uyu ni umuso wa 157 w'umwaka muri kumwe na Apostle Dr Paul Gitwaza Isezerano ryo munsi mu mwaka utaha mu mezi ya mbere y'umwaka nk'iki gihe uzabyara Itangiriro 18 ku murongo wa 10 Undi aramubwira ati Iki gihe cy'umwaka ni kigaruka Sinzabura kugaruka aho uri Sara umugore wawe abyare umuhungu Sara abzumva ari mu muryango wihema uri inyuma ye amena Ubu turi mu kwezi kwa kanga turi mu kwezi kwa kabiri itariki 2023 undi mwaka nkuyu mu kwa kabiri nkuko mu mezi nkaya yabo kwa mbere kwa kabiri kwa gatatu itegura igitangaza kizavuka mu buzima bwawe abatabyara mwakire abana abafite imishinga ikomeye mwakira inyungu zayo abafite gutera imbere mwakire abashaka kubaka inzu uzayitaha abashaka kugura imodoka nziza uzayijyamo donc uri ya mwaka itegura igitangaza kiza ngo mu gihe nkiki muri ya mezi ya mbere y'umwaka utaha ubwo ndavuga 2024 uzabyara cyangwa se uzunguka uzatera imbere uzakomera ndagushima kuri imana ivuga bikaba kandi uri imana yibi wabwiye Sara na Abraham ngo iki gihe cy'umwaka ni kigaruka mu gihe nkiki mu kwezi nkuru mu mezi nkaya mu gihe mwe nkiki buzongera ugaruke isezano ryuzo ndagushima kuri imana igira gahunda kugendera kuri gahunda kwezi imana uzabisohoza mwizira rya Yesu Kristo umwami wacu amen tukire muri uwo mwuka we masezerano meza as we are still in the, in the, in the spirit of good promises turasaba kabura me manuel na wabikira maria sandrine ko bihuta bakaza hano we ask you emmanuel and sandrine to rush here saba bishop safari gutera intambwe asking bishop safari to come forward umutambyi abaragize imana ayo masezerano mwumvise ari urubyano ramazo muzabibone mu izina rya yesu
We are going to pray for our children for four things. Having a love of God. And then to, to fear the, to fear the, the giant of sickness. And the giant which would call misunderstanding between them. God, God, we bring our children before you. Put them the power of love in them them. so that they would enter we in your heart. Win them the giant of poor, the power of giant of sickness, the power of giant which can find against them, them. and put them above all those powers as they are planning their hearts may they enter into your Heart. and keep them winning. May they lack nothing in their lives as they are waiting. Give them to be righteous so that their wedding become a miracle we to We thank you giving you a mighty hand of love. Amen. Amen. Please give them a mighty hand of a clap. In cabin, please put more announcements. Shalom Benedat. Imani ishimwe ko yabanye natwe mu cyumwe rugishize kandi turizera ko mwagize ibihe byiza hamwe n'imiryango yanyu kandi ko buri wese yabashije kwibagirwa ibyakera yakira ibishya mu buzima bwe Buri iki cyumwe rubyumwihariko itorero ryongeye kubategurira amasengesho y'iminsi itatu yo gusenga no kwiyiriza amasengesho ateganyijwe gutangira ejo kwa mbere kugeza kwa gatatu ni bugoroba aho tuzasoza dusangira igaburo byera amasengesho azajya atangira sa 11 za mu gitondo hakomerezweho amateraniro ya saa 6 na amateraniro ya ni mugoroba buri munsi Kubera gahunda y'amasengesho ateganyijwe muri iki cyumweru amateraniro y'amatsinda matoya Authentic Home Cell ntabwo azaba kwa gatatu ahubwo hateganyijwe amahugurwa y'abayobozi Authentic Cell Leaders kwa gatandatu satatu za mu gitondo kugeza saa 6 Intsinda ry'ishuti z'Imana hamwe n'itorero ry'abateguriye amahugurwa y'abantu bose aho bazahugurwa ku kubunga bunga imibiri yacu mu mubiri no mu mwuka so baturi kumwe ni mpuguke zitandukanye harimo Dr Osi inzobere mu ndwara zisanzwe Dr Damasen inzobere mu myitozo ngorora mu biri Gana Alexi inzobere mu mirire hamwe na Pastor Emma gahunda iteganyijwe kuwa gatandatu tariki enye su kwezi kwa gatatu kuva saa 9 muratumwe mwese kandi mutumire nabandi Yeho Yesu, if you indirimbo z’umushumba wacu Apostle Dr. Paul Gitwaza ariko kabutaza aho wazikura. By’umwihariko itorero ribafitiye inkuru nziza ko album ye ya mbere yitwa “Tuwiziranyeho ubu iri ku mbuga nkoranyambaga zose harimo Spotify, Deezer, Audio Mac, the tennis in the Zose, Kumazina ya Apostle Dr. Paul Gitkwaza. Muru Rurwego, itori uribone huku wa turindiri mbo ichi ungeru yitkwa tuwiziranyo. Kube ruruku ndongu ituye haribyo, narete haribyo, nigome haribyo, nirenga gise. Kube ruruku ndona kuituye haribyo. Ubuyobozi bw'itorero bunejejwe no kumenyesha abantu bose bakijijwe mu kwezi kwa mbere kugeza mu kwezi kwa kabiri cyangwa nabandi bose bifuza kuba abanyamuryango ba Zion Temple Celebration Center Gatenga ko hateganyijwe gahunda yo kubakira ku cyumweru nyuma y'amateraniro ya kabiri hano mu rusengero kubindi bisobanuro wahamagara izi nimero 070 umunani 75 umunani Ubaye uri hanze y'u Rwanda ushobora kwiyandikisha kuri e-church ukoresheje iyi nimero guteranya rimwe 972 
kane gatatu icyenda kane gatanu zeru icyenda pasta Claudine tuboneho kubifuriza icyumweru kiza aho zaba dufite insanganyamatsiko igiriti kugira imitekerereze iza n'impinduka the mindset that makes a difference kubara igice cya 14 umurongo wa 2024 tubifurije kandi kuzagira ukwezi kwiza gushya kwa barewi aho tuzagendera mu nsanganyamatsiko igiriti kugira imitekerereze mishya imani ibaho umugisha Shalom Shalom we are glad to introduce to you authentic store on this new platform you will find resources that will transform your life and authentically deepen your connection with God our store fetches a wide range of resources including Apostle Dr. Paul's upcoming books, previous sermons and series with the most liked videos like Minority Mindset, From Revelation to Manifestation, Replacing the Old Garment with the New, and other great teachings that you may have missed or want to revisit all in one place. Daily Promises. On this section of the platform, you will find our daily promises, the daily devotions by Apostle Dr. Paul Gitwaza to provide you with inspiration and encouragement as you start your day. Song albums, our Azaf section, features worship music and all your favorite Azaf songs that will surely lift your spirit as you praise God. The best part is that when you purchase at Authentic Store, you're not only investing in your spiritual growth, but also supporting our ministry and helping us spread the kingdom's message to others all around the world. Visit Authentic Online Store today at www.store.awm-global.org and enjoy authentic materials to accompany you in your spiritual and faith journey. Thank you for choosing and supporting Authentic Online Store. God bless you. I mean, as we are still in the spirit of announcements, one stone project. Later, let's remind you about one stone project. It's 1,000 per month or 12,000 per year. But it's a work that we are all requested to do. Code ayo ni zero gatatu kabiri hakuri ikuri kio na mazera tatu. Ahandi muri Afrika mwa kuresha world limit mwa 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 kuri yeno mero iki mnye tsocho gutera nyama gana bi mirongo tano mirongo nani no munani mirongo nani na kabiri mirongo nini no munani magana ri nguina chumi ni chenda iri umazina ya bigizi Jonathan. Naho ya kopo momoko dinayo ili kuizi na yazayo ni tempo celebration center. So for people who want to offer on one project, one stone project, Momo Pay, it's 03-2000 on the names of Zion Temple Celebration Center. And people who, who are not in Rwanda can use word remit on plus 250-788-2787-19 on the names of Vigizi Jonathan. Kweta yoro mwurima wima na tunezerewe. Please let's do the work of Nuku God as we are yachu, because, it's for, because it's for our, our own good and our brother's good. We've reached another good du moment of and paying our tithes, asking us to help us. Kubaza gutanga maturo, momo kode ni zero gmiro gutatu nakari indugui. Zero mirongo inani, nkuko mubibona hariya ya me bari banzangira ngo twese tumaze kwimenya mu mutwe. Hanyuma abandi bashaka guturira hano muri ibi bibiseke birahanga imbere kuba yitwaje. Azafu karibu tunasenga natwe twese kubwa ya maturo. People who are offering are going to use star 182 star 8 star 1 star 037 08 080 #and let's pray so that God would help us with our offerings. Let's pray. Good we are praising you on the always praise because that's what we need to get offerings to give you We are showing you your kids are going to give And asking you to give more from where they are We are showing you those people who are not going to be able to to be able to to be able 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 to be
enable them so that next time they are going to be able to give in your word. Please do good add to us. We pray it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh Lord, we praise you. We magnify your name. You are the Lord that is present in this place. And we just exalt your name. Because this is what you have created us for. You are the Lord, you are Shema, the God that is present. You are Elohim, the creator, the great creator, the creator of heaven and earth. Everything was made by you. Everything was made for you and through you. In you we live, in you we move, and in you we have our being. Thou art exalted, O King of Kings, the author and the finisher of our faith. The Lord our sanctifier, the Lord our maker, the Lord our God. And we worship you. Elohim, Adonai, Shama, Shama. Allow us to welcome executive pastor. But that's not how they work under the earth. Hallelujah. 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 You may be seated for a few seconds. Uh, we praise God because of a good morning. A morning of a blessing. Without taking a long time. I would ask Kabin to pray again the second announcement they get. I want them to pray it again so that I may explain it to after they see it. 
Shalom, shalom. We are glad to introduce to you Authentic Story. On this new platform, you will find resources that will transform your life and authentically deepen your connection with God. Our store fetches a wide range of resources, including Apostle Dr. Paul's upcoming books, previous sermons and series with the most liked videos like Minority Mindset, From Revelation to Manifestation, Replacing the Old Garment Within You, and other great teachings that you may have missed or want to revisit all in one place. Daily Promises. On this session of the platform, you will find our daily promises, the daily devotions by Apostle Dr. Paul Gitwaza to provide you with inspiration and encouragement as you start your day. Song Albums. Our Azaf section features worship music and all your favorite Azaf songs that will surely lift your spirit as you praise God. The best part is that when you purchase at Authentic Store, you're not only investing in your spiritual growth, but also supporting our ministry and helping us spread the kingdom's message to others, to others all, around all around the world. Visit, visit www.store.awm-global.org and enjoy authentic materials to accompany you in your spiritual and faith journey. Thank you for choosing and supporting Authentic Online Store. God bless you. The reason why we are here it's because we are here to praise God. After 20 years and more, that our senior pastor wanted to release his first book. It is possible that you don't know the stories behind. Maybe you get time to explain more. He said in different ways that it was hard in different times. But we thank God that today we are here to, sh to show you one of his projects. I feel like your gloves are left. Like the last. This is a month of new system. As a church, we want that we stand in the word which is prophetic every month. This came from different wishes from different people here. There are people who write it, some got missed. But praise God because few, recently we got different letters from people. This is the first book. Mm -hmm. But this is not a book. This is a promise of a day. And it helps us to pray and learn about the word of God as we declare it on our lives. We've not yet released the book. Inside there is things which would help you to pray and learn more about the word of God. So this is the pre-project which is going to demonstrate the product name. What we came here to demonstrate today, we want you to support this project. It's not easy, but it's possible. The reason why it's possible. It's because we have the sample of the more books we can have. Uh, Without taking long time. Let me explain to you where you can get this book. As you saw in the video. I want to thank our communication team. Harimo Robert, Harimo Maxime, Harimo Claire, Harimo King, Harimo Robert, Claire, Maxime, and everyone else in the team. Couple of Victor and Rosine. Couple of Victor and Rosine. There are people in Rwanda and even outside of Rwanda. There are people who can sleep during night so that you get this sample of book. So this sample. This sample. 
getting on, basing on the reality of how things are in Rwanda. We try to manage to have three ways. Hard copy. If you need a hard copy, as we have it right now, it's 30,000 Rwandan francs. And we don't want to make it costly. But that's how the places are here. If you would see 500 people giving us command, we would give it on 15,000 Rwandan francs. But because of the time we are in, the team of communication, we managed to have have an online system. Meaning that you can have a soft copy on 10,000 Rwanda. Being in Rwanda or outside of Rwanda, you can have it. So what we came to show you today, this is the pre-project of books of the Apostle. Because we have more five books which is ready to be printed. We have more script which have more than 60 to be printed. Let's get together as we support the, the work of God. So the system that we showed you, the website, we tried our best so that we can give you the best way because when you go on YouTube, you see different preachings. But when you go on Authentic Store, you find the books of Apostle, and all his teachings, the African Haguruka teachings, all the songs of Azaf, the songs of Apostle, when we say Azaf, we mean different branches of Zion, Zion Temple in Rwanda. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know if you are excited for this project. Meaning that all books are there. We highly recommend you to not use YouTube because when you go there, they give you different teaching from what you've already Meaning that there is a lot of jam misleadings on YouTube. So the system we gave you ni audio. It's audio. It's an easy way. Either you are in a car, plane. It's an easy way. It's an audio system. Please visit this website. Please visit this website. And you see different activities that we are planning for you so that they will lead you and help you to go out of the world which is have a lot of jam in it. So so if you want to place an order, so we are giving you the number of people you can write to or call, people who need hard copy. Robert Mugabo. I'm going to give you the number of Robert Mugabo. 0786 58 47 7 so for people who want, who want to have hard copies can write to him so that we can place Ndi, an Maxime, order. Na wei, kanya. For Maxime, it's 07888 60 771 That's the team we are working together so that the book can get to a huge number of people. Please allow me that we stand up and praise God for this new I told you that the devil fight against this project. At the point when we were going to print this book, the electricity went off. We went home at 3 or 4 in the morning. 
I hope you understand the fight we had. And also through the preaching of, of the Apostle, yeah, new lives are changed. Either people in Rwanda or different people are following us on different platforms. So we are going to praise God for this and book and more other printed printing books which are coming. And then we pray for and our pastor. Let's raise hand and pray. Good God and powerful God. We praise you because you are God of Christ. We've seen your mighty hand. We've seen your mighty hand. We praise you because every day you give us life. Through your word you give life. We praise you because of a good start. We praise you for this book which is going to change many lives. Many people are going to and your work is going to be life. We praise you because you are God of promise. Because our eyes can see it today. Thank you for this job going to life. Starting in Rwanda. And even the rest of the world. Thank you that you heard us. In the name of Jesus. We are going to receive your word. Please anoint yourself. And use him to be power. May your grace be upon your life and become the good one so that he proclaim your kingdom. Thank you because you are God. You give your might of God receiving your word in the name of Jesus. Amen. Wakueshi miwa ni wewe Mungu Wakupewa sifa Na utukufu ni wewe Mungu Wakuabutiwa Wakuabutiwa Wakueshi miwa ni wewe Lord, we thank you. Let your name be exalted up high. There is no one like you. You are a unique God. You are unique 
God. You have given us a special day. You have given us a special hour. You want to do extraordinary things in our lives. There is no other God like you. There is no God who speaks and he has no God who speaks and he has no God who speaks and he has no God who speaks. There is no other God who changes the cross. Except you, Jesus. You are a great God. This morning we thank you for your goodness. This morning we thank you for your great words. We thank you for your holy words. We thank you for your words. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your love. That you've given us the you gave us life. You have commended it. And that is why he has you have allowed us to come in your house. That is why we're here. We thank you, Father. Let all the glory and honor be unto you. Now and forever. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Good morning, people of God. Praise be to Jesus. Let your God be glorified. Can you lift up your arms to the glory of God? May God bless you. Amen. Amen. We thank God for the opportunity to wake up this morning. He has given us the gift of life. I have realized that life in itself is a gift from God. Sometimes you have a really bad night. And you miss the morning. But we thank God that he has given us a good morning. Amen. Amen. He has allowed us to come in his house. Maybe someone desired to do so, but they're not here. We ought to learn how to see God in the mundane things. Yes, we've presented big projects to God, but he's also a God of details in our lives. Do you know you can buy a really wonderful clothing, but you don't look good in it? But you know that clothing was expensive. But no one would even tell you a compliment that you look good in that. And then when you stand in the mirror yourself, you can testify that you don't look good in it. But then you put your old clothing and you're like, okay, look yeah, at this. Shi, mi, so we should thank God. Mana Our God is a good God. Mana Our God is a good God. Shi, mi, kani kuya I thank him again for the opportunity to stand here and present your word, the da word of God. Wachu, ba, duhaye, uyumanya, na ya I da also sanswe. thank uh, parents that have given us this time to be here. Most especially the senior pastor, Apostle Dr. Paul Gitkwaza. And the church leadership. Together with you, the members. Because you have the ability and the power to text him and say, please, take this man away from us. I've been in schools where students hated the teacher. They hated the teacher, yet they don't pay the teacher. So that keeps me humbled. I remember, I'm like, God. Please help me to be justified to stand here. So I thank God for a new opportunity. Amen. 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 Turi mu cyumweru kiza gifite insanganya matsiko nziza ndetse We are in a great week with a great theme. Turi mu mikorere mishya ni teme y'ukwezi. February's theme is new system. 
ingingo y'icyumweru iravuga ngo dore uwiteka byose abihinduye bishya But for this week our theme is look God is making everything new Dore uwiteka byose abihinduye bishya Look God is making everything new Hari ibintu wabo ufite imana yahindura bishya Do you have some things that you desire God to make them new? Hari ibintu byanze guhinduka iwawe? Are there things that seem impossible to change in your life? Hari ibintu bigutinze cyangwa utindanye nabyo? Are there things you have dwelt with for a while? Hari ingeso yakunaniye kureka? Are there behaviors you wish to leave behind but it's hard? Hari situation yanze kuva ku buzima bwa? Are there some situations that are stuck in your life? Hari izina ryanze gutandukana nawo? Is there a name that you keep carrying? and you don't desire it Hari mibereho yanze kuva ku buzima bwawo Is there a lifestyle you want to get rid of Bibira bango dore The Bible says behold Byose All things Imana yawe Your God ibihinduye bishya Is making it new Imana yanyu My God Imana yanje My God ibihinduye bishya Is making it all new Mu gitabo cy'ibyayishuwe When we read in the book of Revelation Verse uh, chapter 21 verse 5 Bibira vango icara kuri ya ntebe iravuze iti The Bible says then he who sat on the throne say Dore byose ndabihindura bishya Behold I make all things new Kanditi andika ayo magambo arayo kwizerwa nayukuri And he say to me right for these words are true and faithful Yesaya 42:9 ikenda hakavuga ngo Now if we read in Isaiah 42 verse na verse 9 Isaiah 42 verse 9 byambere birasohoye The word says behold the former things have come to pass Ngo nibisha ndabimenyesha ndabimenyesha mbibabwire bitari byaba And new things I declare Nibisha ndabimenyesha bitari byaba And the new things I I declare Iyicara kuri ya ntebe He who sits on the throne Irimiravuga ibyo irimirakora He is declaring what he is doing. Iyicaya kuri ya ntebe. He who sits on the throne. Irimiravuga umushinga wayo mu bantu. Is presenting his project unto mankind. Iyicaya kuri ya ntebe. He who sits on the throne. Irimiravuga imishinga yayo mwisi no mwijuru. Is presenting his project in heaven and on earth. Umushinga wo guhindura ibintu kuba bishya. The project of changing things and making them new. Ikabivugira ku ntebe y'icubahiro. And he speaks from the throne of God. Ku ntebe The throne of authority. Intebe ikomesh. The exalted powerful throne. Awiman hindura ibintu. Where God changes all things. Awiman hindura ubuzima. Where God changes life. Intebe Yesaya yarayibonye. This throne Isaiah saw it. Bibira vuga muri Yesaya gatandatu. We find in Isaiah chapter 6. Ngumwaka uzi yatanzemo. That they heard that King Isaiah passed. Ngoje Yesaya nabonye imana. I Isaiah saw God. Mwice ku ntebe y'icubahiro. Seated on the throne. Ngigishura cyo gitwikira usengero. And the train of his robe filled the temple. Above it stood the cherubim. This is a throne where God establishes his plan. Plans that will not be changed by man. Plans that will not be changed by time. Plans that will not be changed by seasons. Plans that will not be changed by your circumstances. God does not establish his plans according to your situation. Oh yeah. No. Ijambo ryayo. His word is enough. Ijambo ryayo. His word is enough. Niyo mpamvu mwice aha ngaha. That is why you're sitting here. Nuko ngira ngo Imana ibabwire ijambo. That God will speak a word. Kandi kibabwira. And that word ubwacyo kiri hagije. Will be enough. Gifite intunga mu biri zuzuye. It would have all the nutrients. Ni ijambo ry'Imana harimo ubuzima. In the word of God there is life. Ni ijambo ry'Imana hari biterambere. In the word of life that Ni ijambo ry'Imana harimo gukira indwara. In the word of God there is victory. In the word of God there is healing of diseases. There is renewal. He sent forth his word. And he heals their diseases. He sent forth his word. And he heals their diseases. And he helps them to not 
go into the Jesus into the word of Jesus Harimo seru there is serum in the word of Jesus Harimo paracetamol there is paracetamol in the word of Jesus Harimo cancerning there is cancer in the word of Jesus Harimo shirirish there is surgery in the word of Jesus Harimo guhumurizwa there is comfort in the word of Jesus Harimo mibereho there is new life in the word of Jesus Harimo guzuko there is resurrection in the word of Harimo gushibuka there is right in the word of Jesus Harimo gukura there is growth in the word of Jesus Harimo kubohoka there is freedom in the word of Jesus Harimo bihangano bisha there is new creation in the word of Jesus Harimo ishurirwa there is revelation in the word of Jesus Harimo ubwenge there is wisdom in the word of Jesus Harimo mahame there is principle in the word of Jesus Harimo bikorwa there is work in the word of Jesus Harimo gukiranuka there is righteousness in the word Harim imbabazi There is mercy Ni jambo rya Yesu In the word of Jesus Harim ubuzima There is life Father of Jimana Church of God Ni chicha kuzinduye What has brought you this morning Father of Jimana Church of God Ni chicha kuzinduye What has brought you early this morning Hano harim many There is a menu here Biraterwa ni icyo ushaka It depends on what you desire Hano harim many We have the menu Biraterwa ni icyo ushaka What do you want Ndagira ngo utange command I want you to give an order Ni chigitondo Place an order Utanga command. Place an order this morning. Ugiri mama ngo. Tell God. Yena imitetereze mish. I need a new thinking. Ugiri mama ngo. Tell God. Yena imutima musha. I need a new heart. Ugiri mama ngo. Tell God. Yena ubusima musha. I need a new life. Ugiri mama ngo. Tell God. Subiza mu munezero wagacha. Renew the joy of salvation in me. Tell God. Ubaka imitetereze mish. Build my thinking. Ugiri mama ngo. Tell God. Njiru mugabo wakuguhamya. Make me a man to tell. Yes. Oh. Things are made new. Bwana sifiwe. Praise Jesus. Yesu nashimwe. Praise Jesus. Yesu nashimwe. Praise Jesus. Icyo nkundira Imana. What I love about God. Nukuntu bwayiteye. It is his nature. Ikundi ibintu bihinduka. He loves change. Kandi bigana imbere bitera imbere. That a change that brings development. Imana ikundi ibintu byiyungura. God loves things that change. Niyo mambu hayo matirite no gukura. That is why there is a period of maturity. Imana ikunda abantu bava mu rwego rimwe bakagera mu rundi. God loves people that move from one level to another. Niyo mambu itamfiti ishari. That is why he's not jealous for me. Kubera ko nabwirije. That I am preaching. Iranzi ndi muto. Because I he planted it. Ibindi mihuza gurikamo. And then I I confuse things that Na Imana yangirira ishari. God will not be jealous. But rather he is glad to see now me and you now God is not jealous for your progress. He is excited for your God progress. excited for your progress. God loves people that grow. He loves life that progresses. He loves life that progresses. He loves life that changes. He loves people that learn. He, he doesn't like people that are People that are stagnant. They are in a valley with no life. He, they call it a mud. God loves sources. Hallelujah. Does your life learn and grow? Does your lifestyle develop? Praise the Lord. That is the nature of God. He does not like things that are not well He likes clean things. When he created man, he assessed the work and said, what did I not do right? What is not right? I'm ready to change all things and make it new. If I have done it not well, I'm ready to redo it. But the work unto my name has to be excellent. When God assessed, he saw that man was restless. And he said, it is not good for man to be alone. Then, he gave it as a revelation, so they wrote it. You, your mistake, you cover them. 
But God said, let it be written and known. That there is something that was incomplete, so I had to fulfill it. So that you may learn. Because that being incomplete is not a problem. Repeating the mistake is the problem. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God loves things that progresses. Wanasifiwe. Praise the Lord. God loves the life that changes and grows. A few in these past week we have been diving deep on these scriptures. And we found that in Greek. That is called coin Greek. It's a Greek language, the original one. So there is like the first traditional Greek and classic Greek. But this is like the original root of Greek. Called coin Greek. The word new. The word new. The word new has two parts in explanation. There is neos. New in time. New in time. And then there is kainos. New in nature. New in nature. New in nature. How they're created. In their kind, they are new. So through these two parts, we delve deep into what God is speaking to us this morning. And, and we found that there are new things that God is creating. Some are new in time. Others are new in nature. Both these two words have the same root. What will be the result is a new thing. The unusual. They are both headed into good. Meaning it's becoming new and better. From glory to glory. When you read the word of God. You see how times and seasons change. How God operated with mankind through different seasons. All the way from Genesis. To Revelation. There are seasons. There are changes. Operations of God in various multitudes. Every season. Show the works of God in that time. And it established the works of God for that time. And there were the works of men in From that time. From the time of innocence. That is the time of age. Them in, in Eve, in e in Eden. All the way until being chased out of Eden. When they had sinned against God. The theologian called this period at the time of it It's a transition. It is now followed by a time of consciousness. Of consciousness. Because man had now started to tap into their thinking. They, they drew from the source all the way to the market. He went from where everything was prepared to preparing for himself. Man started to hustle. Then came a new system because they were in a new time. 
So now God had to change the works of men to adjust because the way he had established it had changed. Now they started build roads. God found them on the road. That is a time of the There is a time of man ruling. Because the time of consciousness spent a thousand years, six hundred fifty-six years. Yes. It finished by the time of the flood. When the flood finished, now men started ruling. The expansion of men. Ex growing of men. From the man called Noah. This time led all the way to the time of Babel. All these seasons. God operated with man different on how we operated. It was followed by the season of promises. From the calling of Abraham. All the way to leading Israelites out of Egypt. Abraham, the man of faith. God gave him great promises. And he ruled over that time. After that period. When Israel stepped into Egypt. They entered now in a period of rule. God started to operate with people through law. So God gave Moses the Ten Commandments. The Israelites were led by commandments and laws. The, the theologian alludes that this season and period may go all the way into the millennium in a different way. But uh, this prime period of laws went all the way to Jesus. After the blood of Jesus, when the Holy Spirit was poured into us, now we started a new period. And now this new period is a period of new system. It's the period we're in currently. It's called the period of the church. Church age. It's the church age. And it's the, gra the age of grace. Why is it grace? Because this time. That we don't know when it will end. But that will end with the second coming of Jesus for the rapture. Will be followed by great persecution. When people will redeem themselves by their own words. Because they refuse to believe in the blood of Jesus. When the church will be raptured. Everyone remaining behind. That would like to believe in Christ. Will be operating in the antichrist system. For redemption you have to pay a price for your own blood. Because you refuse the blood of Jesus. That is now followed by the millennium. When and Jesus will rule on to this world for a thousand years. And Satan will be, will be binding for a thousand years. Why am I giving this introduction? It's because every season brought new systems. When you can't read and understand times, you don't know how to change. You don't know how to change yourself. When you can't assess and you remain in the old yet the new are here so every season has a rescue from God the rescue from God is in ages. It is in days. It is in hours. It is in minutes. It is in seconds. Even as we speak, there are things God is doing. Because this minute, God has prepared something for it. Time is a storage for God. Every hour, 
There is a promise. There is a promise of a day. There is a promise of years. There is a promise of a season. Now we are in season. Where God is saying. Oh. Things I'll make new. All things. I will make new. They are new in time. God would change some things because of time. Now we will require God to change the time again, so that the new will come. In Daniel chapter 2, God says I am a God who changes time. God makes rain come in a dry season. God gives life in a poverty time. In a season of dryness, God pours and waters the heart because God is not controlled by time. He is greater than time. He has a word of he rules over days. Our days leading you as a slave. Our days oppressing you. Our days oppressing you. Job once cursed the day he was born. There is, is there a day that hurts your life? God is waking up to change your time. To create a day between the to create a week amidst a month amidst to create a month amidst months to create a year amidst years is there there's a day you stand with your with your life. you see the day i remember is the day I accepted you. There is a day that is close to you. Maybe it might be a day of your sorrow. But it might be a day of your joy too. But every day. There is a rescue from God. So may God change your time so that the new come to you. May God change your time so that the good day will come to you. So God knows how to operate in time. There are things that were in the ancient times that God is able to draw into this current time. This happened at Lazarus' life. Lazarus had died and he was a friend of Jesus. And then when he came, Jesus told Martha, your brother will resurrect. Martha said, Jesus, I am aware of time. I know of the resurrection to come. Don't tell me of the future. I need the now. I know when we say of Jesus coming as a king, you say, come right now because I'm in deep poverty. <laughs> Yes, so you fat to be a chair, a cabiz and you must begin to come so go on your own with your own. I am telling you of the future in looks distant, but I'm telling you, God is able to bring it close to you, and you can take yes, it. So. Jesus told Martha, Your brother will resurrect. Martha said, Yes, I am aware yes, of that. Martha, but Jesus said, You are not aware that I'm the resurrection and not. In other words, I have the ability to make you taste of what's to come. God takes of what's to come and brings it to happen. Right now. He brings of the, of the ancient, brings it today. God tells us He will wipe away our tears in eternity. So He will take of the comfort of eternity and bring it to the now. God will take this current time and make more than image of the future. So 
The same time he made Lazarus taste the resurrection of the future time to the current present time. Is the way he creates this season time to project off to the times ahead. He will create joy for the now to reflect and foresee what's to come. That happened to Abraham. Abraham. He said, Abraham, bring your only begotten son that I gave you. The only son you have. Go sacrifice him. Why? God wanted a picture of where parents sacrifices their child. Because he would remind him of the time he will have to sacrifice Jesus. There is a life God leads you in when he needs a picture of what's to come. God needs a picture of your joy. God is looking for a picture of your happiness. Even I don't know you happy. Yes, a few days ago, there is a person we are praying together. Me, I was praying, but he has a lot of problems. He was crying continuously. Every word we say, they will cry. And then I came in the office laughing. And then I was surprised by seeing them laughing. I'm now used to seeing them smile. There are times you dwelt in that has made heaven not take any pictures. People are angry at times. Where would God put such a picture? You are gnashing your teeth. You are not joyful for anything in life. Besides God, even yourself, you want to take a picture. But God wants to change that. God wants to change your life. He wants to see you joyful. He wants to see you happy. He wants to see you no longer slave to history. God wants to make clean your face. You start to smile and look like others. That you would marry off your children. That you would give birth and take your kids to school. That you would live the barren life. God will put a finish to it. He did this to the Manoah. Manoah. To Manoah. Manoah. The God did this to Manoah. They were barren. And God said, I'm, I have fed up of this image. I need a home with a child. Where the baby cries at night. I want you to buy pampers. I want to see you with a baby mother. Hallelujah. Then God sent off his angel. Go to the home of Manoah. You will find a barren man. No, he didn't even miscarry. That parent is a, is a barren man. Tell them I'm giving you a child. The angel came. And didn't find Manoah. He was in the fields. He, was, he talked to the woman. Then the wife went to talk to his husband. To his husband. And then when they came, the angel had departed. And then Manoah prayed again. Father Lord, send off the angel to tell us how we are to raise this child. We are not used to this. We are used to barrenness. We are not used to this life. We are used to our sorrow. We are used to finding food for only two. But now you are bringing a third person. So send off the angel to give us instructions. This is responsibility. 
This week what God is doing is not your responsibility. These are your responsibilities. It is a life that is changed. How are you going to live now that you have a baby? How are you going to live off when you have the capital? Pastors, how are you living with anointing? Are we seeing you or not? How are you living when you have a good job? What tell us how we are to treat this child? How are you going to treat yourself? How are we to live in this life following God's doing? Because God has released a promise, He's about to, to finish. Now start to live that life. Start to live off the life that is coming. T -t Tell your neighbor, how do you How do you give off a million as donation? Tell me. Ask your neighbor. When you have a driver, how do you behave? Ask your neighbor when you are a pastor with anointing, how should you behave? How do I behave when I'm on a picture with His Excellency? I heard of the news one time that someone, uh, the president had promoted. He was a military man. And then he did, uh, he organized a celebration. After a while, they called him. When they're still celebrating. Hi. We are in celebration. What happened? We are celebrating that you promoted us. Your responsibility is celebration. Celebration. <laughs> Ask God how we are to treat hey, the child. Promotion. The promotion is coming. But after the promotion, how should you be? Being remembered by God is coming. I see someone. Here. The military man. God is promoting you. I know you can't come here to testify, But thank your God. And that is done. How should I treat the child? This child comes with so much instruction. No vine, no, no saving. Because of the level God is taking you to, is a level with instructions. He has a lot of instructions. You can't eat a corn off of the street without a He has instructions. You do not talk to anyone like that. He has instructions. I am telling you. He who sits on the throne is making all things new. He is making all things new. Some you might contribute to it, but there are others that will just require you to act. In Numbers 27, there were some daughters. Of a man. Of a man. You read the Bible. Hey. He's somebody who could not. Quite a chimania. We will read in Numbers 27. We will read in Numbers 27. Numbers 27, chapter 1. Chap, chap, the chap. Lord, uh, th then came the daughters of Zelophehad. 
the son of Hafer, Wagileyad, the son of Gilead, Wamakiri, the son of Makai, the son of Manasseh, the son of Manasseh, the son of Joseph, the son of Manasseh, the son of Joseph, the son of Manasseh, the son of Joseph, the son of the names of his daughters. Mahira, Mahla, na Noah, Noah, na Hogira, Hogla, na Miruka, Milka, na Tirusa, and Tirza. And they stood before Moses, before Eleazar the priest. And before the leaders of all the congregation, by the doorway of the tabernacle, saying, Our father died in the wilderness. But he was not in the company of those who gathered together against the Lord. With, in company with Korah. But he, did, but he died in his own sin and he had no sons. Why should the name of our father be removed from among his family? Because he had no son? Give us possession among our father's brothers. That moment. When Moses heard of it. He heard it's a new case. Get out of the old cases. Get out of the old cases that your parents made. You your Start a new case. That will not be judged on earth. Tell God change my life. Ask God what is my wrong. Ask God why your life is not changing. Why do you skirt around yourself? Why should our father's name be removed among this family? I like Moses. And he said this supersedes me. That is a new case. Let me bring it to God. So he brought your case. Do you have requests? Give it to Moses. He will bring it to the throne of God. He came before the Lord. He said, Lord. Lord. Wear your garment of judgment. Do you, you are used to the daughters of Israel keeping quiet. You are used to daughters of Israel keeping quiet. Today they came to me. And it's, I'm ending if you don't resolve this. So Moses brought their case before the Lord. And the Lord spoke to Moses. Saying, he said, even I heard of that. Even I was convicted by that case. He said what the daughters of the Lord speak is right. Your supplication has justification. The change of your life is justified. A new heart you're asking God is justified. The joy in marriage you're asking God has justification. The promotion you need at work is justified. Because before you got promoted, you had good conduct. He said that case of the daughters, I have used my wisdom as God. He who sits on the throne. And I found them right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> You shall surely give them a possession of inheritance among their fathers, brothers. Gabgiras, our koga ba sirofahad, ba burani bju kuri, nuzi aburi kuwa hagakon, na muri vene wa was. The daughters of Zohofa had speak what is right. You shall surely give them a possession among their fathers, brothers. On verse eight, and what follows? A new law in the country. <laughs> A new law in the country. That just came out from the request of the daughters what of the Lord. You sat and you're waiting for a change. It won't come to your home. When it delays, 
come to Moses. Follow God in his dwelling place. And tell God, God, do you have a calendar in heaven? Do you remember the years of the people in this world? Of the promises I have, should I become a nun? Now I have 40 to be one. Are you accumulating experience for experience what? Where would the experience of celebrity be used? If there is no use, build my home. Build my home. Give me a wedding. Build my home. Where is my husband? Where is my wife? I'm, I'm barren. To the level you can't change my name. And then he will say, Your case is right. There is no promise of none you have. We don't have nuns here. They are in the covets. Here, is those that chose this path. Here we have weddings. We present weddings. We give birth to children. We grow children. We grow them. We have men. We raise corners. That is why. Why would God not come to us today? Raise and tell God of your right. Tell God of his word. Tell him of his commandments. There are some new laws that will be created. There are some laws in the church that will be changed. Because of you. There, are, there are national laws that will be revised because of you. Have boldness. Have boldness. Understand who you are in Christ. Know your right in God. And come to God in his dwelling place. God will hear your supplication. And he will answer you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I am talking about new things. In nature. In nature, in time, in time, in a time of acceptance, may God accept you. Whatever has to change, may He change us. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, receive your miracle. Provoke change in your life. Provoke your miracle. Come, provoke. Something. Let something be born. Shake things. Bring change. We are looking at Mary in the wedding in Cana. She was in Cana at the wedding. And provoke. When Mary came. He knew the problem. And he knew. She knew. That the wine had finished. And she knew that the answer is in Jesus. So she said, I'm going to provoke change. So she came to Jesus and said, there is no more wine. And there are things that have finished in your life, right? You also have things that have expired. Finished. Your joy has dried out. Your love has gone. The anointing has reduced. You no longer pray at night. There are things that have and you have to accept it. Do not cover it. Accept it. That there is something that ran out no, in you. When you don't accept it, you won't have the power and strength to find you. You are still in the old testimony. Old. Very old. Ancient. Long gone. Oh, long time when I had money. The money, when the money was still here. I give, I was very generous. How about now? 
things have run out. They have run out in your life. They have run out in your soul. They have run out in your actions. They have run out in your account. We need a Mary to provoke a miracle. We need a Mary to provoke a miracle. The Marys can con- connect a problem and a solution. They can connect a problem and a solution. When he got to Jesus, he said, Woman, what should we do? My time has not come. My time has not come. Ambo? Really? Your time has not come yet. Now Jesus had to find a way to operate this miracle. When the time of a revelation of an answer comes, had not yet, that time had not yet come. So it was necessary he had to disregard the notion of what time and season is. He had to nullify that time before the ancient of days. Jesus said, surely my time is not yet here because I've placed everything in its own due time. But I'm pushed to do something. Why? Why is God pushed to do something and act on it? The emergency. Some things are urgent. Some things are urgent. In the wedding in Kana, some things are urgent. Things are to be prepared before time. It had to be renewed before it's time. When Jesus assessed the situation, he found an emergency. In psychology, there's like six principles of emergency. The first one is communication. To give news in due time. Say, present your case on time. So that your things will be known by God. Interceding and thanksgiving. Present your case. Give the news in time. Second, my commitment. It's the commitment. You have to have the commitment to be an answer. To be a solution. This is what was happening in Mary's life. It does not meet with science. The third one is cognition. The ability to discern times and what solutions lie. The fourth is continuity. To apply what you have thought of. So that the emergency and solution will reach the person. The fifth is control. You have to do it well. With precision. To know who you're talking to. Of the problem. When you take of someone's problem. And you present it to the wrong person. You make it worse. You make it worse to the problem. Now if you have a home problem. And you speak it to the wrong audience. You will be destroying the marriage more. The problem in the wedding was a secret. She had to whisper it. So that people would not assess the financial needs. He ha- she had to whisper to Jesus. Sometimes you have a, a direct solution without following the protocols. On the level of not spreading the news to the wrong people. The sixth is the challenge. To pass on the instructions of what needs to be done for the people. All of this Mary applied in such a short time. Jesus wants to change things that are urgent in your life. And he will come before the destruction of that marriage. What are they accusing you of? That they are accusing you of is what he's coming straight to. 
And he's coming before time. Because he's rushing before the divorce. I'm talking about emergencies. There are things that are necessary. And urgent. There are some things that are necessary. But they're not urgent. Now there are things that are not important. But there are urgent. Now there are things that are not urgent. And they're not important. Yes, now Jesus is picking the important and urgent ones. All things I am making new. All things I am making new. May God connect you with the time. Of May God connect you with this word. The story we'll conclude on is this one. May God connect you with this word. So that your life will be changed. So that your heart will have some change. In the book of 2 Kings chapter 13. The book of 2 Kings chapter 13. There is a story of a man called Elisha. He had passed on. On the throne of King Jehoash. When Elisha was laying in on bed, th- uh, giving them strategies on how to defeat the Syrians. After a while, he passed away. And they buried him. The Bible says. There were people that carried Elisha to bury him. And they encountered a raid from the Moabites. When they saw them, they spied the raid coming. Now remember for the Israelites when they go to bury a person. Because they believe that the soul departs from the body after four days. So I'm assuming that maybe this man was three to four days in death. When they were going to bury him, they spied the raid from the Moabites. So they decided to save their own lives. They tried to see where to throw their dead person. They found the tomb, so they dropped the body there. There laid the anointing of a servant of God who passed away. When they threw the body in the tomb of Elisha, they were running. They didn't know what was happening. He who was dead came to life. He woke up. He arose and shook. When he looked, he found himself in the cemetery. What has resurrected him? Anointing. Anointing. Your problems will not take away who you are. The circumstances you're through will not change. Elisha had died, but the anointing was still alive. God targeted the anointing of Elisha. And then the dead man came to life. So the problem wasn't being rejected. The problem is not that you're rejected. The, the importance is where. Where were you rejected at? Whose hands are you in? Those that were thrown to the hands of God. They are rising. The problem is not what you go through. What is important is who you are with. Even Jesus on the cross. He gave a direction to the man who was with him. Elisha in his tomb gave life to a dead man. Even you. You can now connect with God and you will change the life of another person. You make new things in the life of someone There's someone who might someone can say the pastor preached well and the word has come 
Jesus will not do all things. You will work cooperatively with heaven to bring change. Now give hope to someone. Have someone you encourage. Rise and we'll pray. Connect and collaborate with God to bring change. Work together with God to bring change in the lives of others. Collaborate with God to bring answers in the society. All things I will make new. Some, with time, others, he will do Others he will use men. Others he will send the angel. But the change is imminent. That he has signed it off. Lord, we thank you for your word that gives life. Let life comes in the life of our brethren. Let their lives be changed. Do miracles and wonders. What you are spoken, bring it to pass. What you have spoken, bring it to pass. Take people out of tombs. Take your children out of lords. Take your children out of sin. Take your children out of slavery. Take your children out of despair. Let change come. Create new things. Create new things for nation. From their hearts to their lives to their lifestyles to their provisions and to what they take in care of. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. May God bless you and may God do good to if you. you. If you have not yet received Jesus as others go home come and receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. All things will be made new. Amen. Amen. Go with God. And provoke miracles and change in your life. Amen. Amen. If you're not yet saved, come forward. Azaza leads us. Maybe you're not yet saved and you're following us from online. I'd like you to repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, 
I receive change in my life. I know that I'm a sinner. And your mercy. Forgive me of my sins. Forgive me of my wrongdoing. What I have sinned against you. Remove my name out of the book of death. Write it in the book of life. Today I choose to follow and serve you. You are my hope. Come be my Lord and Savior of my life. Let the old finish today. Let a new life start. I receive change in my life. In my life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. May God bless you. And may Jesus bring change in your life. You can either locate a Zion temple near you or another church. So that they may grow you and nurture you. May God bless you. Amen. Amen.